Right guys, so today I'm going to be doing a conservatory in the day. So I'm first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my merchants. So that's Forncliffe. So let's get going. So this is, so it's 20 past eight now. I've got all my materials. Uh, I should be at the job in about five minutes because it's not far away. Right guys, I've just got to the job. It's just before half past eight. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this in the day. So I'm going to go show you the conservatory now and then basically get some boards in, get them all cut, ready? And then it'll be time for me to do some drywall. Right, so I've cut all the difficult boards now. Um, I've got a one piece here for cutting all the bits. It's basically now ready to get some drywall on now, so I'll go and get some water. Right, while the water's running, I shall go and get some drywall. Right guys, a little tip for today. So these, I've not really got enough space to get a piece of board on these. So what I've done is I've already cut my beads ready. So, so basically I'm just using that as a guide so that I make sure that I get all the margins all the same. Because normally you'd use your board for getting the margins all the way around, but that's just a little tip for today. Right, time to get some mixing. Right guys, I'm just adding a tiny bit of half time to the mix just to help it go off a bit quicker because I need it to be going off a bit quicker today. So I'm not putting much in, I'm only putting half a sachet in. It's just to give it a little bit of a kick, just to get it going.
Right, all dry lined, everything's in place. Um, it's time for dinner. It's going off quite nicely, the extra time is helping it along nicely. Um, can you see? I'm gonna chuck some tape around that door in a bit. Yeah, going good. So while I'm on my break, I thought I would talk to you about my t-shirt. So I got this from Trial Talk. This is the Plasterers Facebook group and it is brilliant uh, i've been on it since it started um stuart and the and all the guys on it are really helpful it's a great place for, to get some advice so if you aren't on the group go and join it it's really good and also a big thank you to the guys who sent me this t-shirt i'm going to put a link in the description uh, to where you can actually go and buy one of these t-shirts uh, i got sent it i'm really happy with it um, i'm using it today because it's a pretty warm day and it's keeping me cooler than my polo shirt so yeah, I think I'm going to have to get some of these made up at some point. Right guys, so I'm going to chuck this on now. It's all good to get some skim on it now. Um, I've had to do a little bit of work over there just to just to get all this ready. I've got some Kingspan, I've got some sand cement ready. I'll do that later. <laughs> Right guys, this one's done, if you can see. Sun's gone off it now. There you go. I've done the flooring as well, I needed to do there. Just uh, put some insulation in um, and SBR'd it. And then I put some sun cement. Right, I've just sealed the floor up just to stop the dust coming through. Right, that's the whole day done. Not bad going. <laughs> right guys, so I managed to get that done in a day. I'm really happy with the progress. I even did a little bit extra and did a bit of the flooring as well. So today has been a good day. I hope it's been a bit warm though. Uh, it wasn't as bad as yesterday, which is the heat wave, but today has been a little bit more overcast, but the sun came round this afternoon. But um, yeah, it didn't affect it too much. Luckily, I was a bit worried at one point that the sun was on one of the main walls, but it all worked out well in the end. Right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. I drop these videos every Tuesday. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them below um, and I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.